everyone, I'm Simeon Grace. We're going to be making this beautiful dress today. It's a shoulder padded blouse. And guess what? This style is not limited to this uh, material or like an office wear alone. I was actually going to use an Ankara fabric for Tom. I saw this material and I love it. I decided to go ahead and try it on. So this is me. Also in this tutorial, if time would permit us, I am going to be showing us how to make this sleeve. And if not, it means I'll be showing the tutorial, I'll be uploading it tomorrow. So if you're watching this tutorial now, stay tuned so you can watch the complete tutorial for the sleeve as well tomorrow. And if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, why are you still waiting? Come on, click the subscribe. Hit the bell beside it. It, it will help you receive notification anytime I upload a new video. So we are going to be needing our basic measurements, which are the underbust length, the half length, the full length. We've been needing the shoulder length. We've been needing the sleeve length, the round sleeve, the bust circumference measurements, underbust circumference, the waist circumference, and the hip circumference measurement. So quickly, let's move to the cutting table. Welcome back. First, I'm going to be drafting out just um, the shoulder padded on my pattern before we move to cutting the whole of the dress on the fabric. Here I have my pattern folded using the bust circumference measurement. And that is the IA circumference measurement because it's the half length I'm cutting first. So the half length is 15 inches and I have 16 inches measured out that's one inch for my seam allowance and my folding like i said i use my bust circumference measurement plus eight inches which is my seam allowance my eight inches is the seam allowance added to 34 inches will give us 42 and divided by four will give us 10.5 inches i'm sure you know that this is the same as the bust circumference measurement divided by four plus two you get the same answer now, because it's a padded blouse, there's need to add extra two inches to that 10.5 inches. So what I have here now is 12.5 inches, which I have folded. Here's my 12.5 inches. Now I have my 8.5 inches for the ham hole, and I have the underbust length of 12 inches. So here is my underbust, and this is my full length with the allowance now i can decide to hide my two inches that's the extra two inches that was added but first let me trace this out so i'm going to be hiding those two inches in order to bring out my basic measurement All right, so let's go. I have my shoulder divided by two, that is seven. Shoulder is 14, divided by two is seven. The bust circumference measurement plus eight divided by four is 10.5. And the other bust circumference measurement will be taken below the other bust length. This is under bust length, while the circumference will be taken below it, and that is 28 plus eight divided by four will give us nine inches. So I am going to connect this. The reason I'm going out here is, um, if you're going to be continuing a measurement, like taking the waist measurements, the waist plus eight divided by four, will give us 9.5 and connecting it will go out this way. That's why I have to go in like this. Now I am going to connect the shoulder as well. And to do that, I am going to come in here by 1.5 inches. Let's need to get the midpoint at this point and that is 4.25 here is the midpoint 
So I'm going to come in by 0 0.5. Now, to connect this armhole, I am going to come in like this. Then back to the shoulder measurements. Now, this applies to only the front armhole. We are going to cut this out before we continue the drafting. Now we're going to unfold the two inches that was hidden and to fold my padded, it is going to be based on my bust pan. Bust pan is the, the distance between the nipple to nipple measurement. And for me, it's seven inches. So that means I'll be folding 3.5. That's divided by two. So I'll be folding 3.5 plus my allowance, I'll be folding four inches. Here is my four inches. I need to get the point. Here first is my underbust, the underbust length. Now, from the underbust to the nipple point is three inches. This varies, so you have to measure. As well, you can get the measurement from the shoulder to the nipple point. Now, what I'm going to be doing here is to take and um, to come in by half an inch. That's 0 0.5. The 0 0.5 will continue to continue to the underbust measurement. And I am going to be connecting from my nipple point to this underbust just like this. Then straight down. Now, at this um, underbust point, I can still go in by 0 0.25 or 0 0.5, depending on how you want it. It is not, um, it is not a must anyways. If you feel you want to go in, you can still do that. And if you want to leave it this way, your padded blouse will still come out nice. So you can con connect like this and like this. Now, for a better understanding, because this is um, slightly different from our usual padded blouse, I'm going to open it up and I am going to connect it for us to see. Now, here is the folded line. Here is our folded line. And what I did here was to come in the same way I came in by 0 0.5, 0 0.5 from the base, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, all through to the nipple point, I mean, to the underboss. And I said, you can still go in if you want to. Then the nipple point, which is this, this is the nipple point. I'm going to connect to this which is the underbust, just like this. And this is a straight line. And I'm going to be connecting to this point, just like this. All right? So, either ways, either I'm cutting while folding, or I am cutting in this manner. If I'm cutting this way, that means I'll be cutting out the two lines. And if yours is folded, just go ahead and cut. We can see. All right. Now, the next thing to do, I am going to consider the neck width. Here, the width is your choice. You can decide to leave it at 4 inches or 5 inches, depending on how wide. You want to make um, your shoulder that or your shoulder padded. Anyways, you want to go with it. In fact, you can make it five inches just or four inches, depending on what you want. 
So I'll be going with 5 inches. Now, it means from my nipple point, I'll be connecting to the 5 inches just like this. All right, then from my, okay, let us cancel this line so we will not get confused. Now, from this point, from my five inches, I am going to go in by 1.5 inches. You can go in as much as possible. You can take two inches if you want. You can take two inches. You can take 1.5 inches. Okay, let's go with two inches. Now, what I'll be doing is from this nipple point, I'm going to connect to the two inches just like this. Now, we are cutting out the two lengths. To cut, it's as simple as this. Then all right. So from here now I can take my neck design as the depth of uh, my neck line. But first, let us tape it down and see what this looks like. Well, this is what um, it is after joining. I had to use a black tape. Let me show you the inside. It's not funny. I use the black tape to hold my pattern together. Wow. -woo. And this is, <laughs> this is the inside of it. All right. So that I just did this in order to show us the outcome of it. Then from here, you can go ahead to cut out... Um, Whatever neck design you want to do, it could be a round neck, a V-neck, a sweetheart neck, go ahead and do that. But for me, I'll be going with um, a total neck. For that reason, I will only be working on the middle piece. I am still going to remove the, the tape in order to um, place the pattern on my fabric to cut. So to work on the next line i'll be going with the base of three inches and the width of 2.5 inches yes 2.5 inches and i'll be connecting it it's a round neckline of course we need to slant with a uh, one inch now look at this this is because i have joined actually so but for me i will still maintain what i have yet i mean this is because i held it down with the tape so i'll still continue with my measurement of one inch and i am going to slant from my shoulder neckline like this so we are going to Cut and cut. So the back is going to be a, a basic um, back cutting. I'll show us that on the on the fabric. Now what I have here, I am just going to place this directly on my fabric to cut. Then let's move to the base. All right, I have um, cut out the half length and moving to the base. I folded my fabric using the hip circumference measurement, but this time around it's plus four divided by four. And that's because I'll not be adding lining to this. Now, I have my waist plus four divided by four, the hip plus four divided by four, and that's 10 inches. So that at the base, I took out one inch to pencil it in. And the length, I subtracted my half length, which is 15 inches. The full length is 42, and I added extra three inches. That's because I want um, a wider folding here at the base to make it 45. This is the front, and I am going to show her the back afterwards.
Now, moving to the back. So we are done with um, cutting the front. For the back, I added extra allowance to it because of my zipper. And there's need to slit. Here is the half length for the back. I added my zipper allowance, and here is a basic um, measurement. The half length of, six, of 15, and I made it 16 inches, 8.5 for the ham hole, and 12 inches, which is the underbust circumference, um, underbust length. So for the shoulder, I added extra one inch, shoulder divided by two, and uh, divided by four, shoulder divided by two, sorry, shoulder measurement divided by two plus one inch for my zipper allowance. Here, I have the bust circumference measurement plus four divided by four plus my one inch extra for zipper. And below the under bust length, I have the under bust circumference plus four divided by four plus extra one inch for my zipper allowance. Now we are going to cut. In case this is your first time on this channel and you are yet to subscribe, kindly do that. Subscription is free, totally free. Subscription is free. Okay, I have not talked about um, the neckline. So I have the width. Remember, we used 2.5 inches as the width for the front neckline. So for the back as well, is 2.5 inches plus the extra allowance for the zipper. And I took 0.5 inches for the depth so i am cutting out the neckline 